notes in this lesson were learning Machine Head by Bush, sort of celebrating 28 years since they released uh, 16 Stone. So why not? Quick run through of tones. There's kind of two tones at play here. One is just a you know more straight um, distortion tone. The other one is a little bit more fuzzy or a little bit sort of ratty-ish. So I'm using two pedals. I'm using uh, the 1991 for the main part. <laughs> And for Gavin's parts, I would use something like the Electronic Audio Experiments Dagger, because that gives you that kind of... You know, slightly more woolly, isn't it? So the two go really well together. So let's crack on with the first riff. Now it's all octaves played on the A string. Starting on the fourth fret, we have this. Just play that round and round, okay? So it's just a one bar phrase. So it's two on the fourth fret. Then you move up to the sixth fret and play three. Down, up, down. Then you move up one more fret with the upstroke. And then you go up to the ninth fret and play three. And there's a couple of whacks at the end for good measure. So slowly we have. Those couple of whacks there are basically, because I'm already muting the D string, that gets muted with a little bit of meat off my first finger, right, with the angle of it. So you just hear... not going to hear that ringing out at all while I'm strumming but from the ninth fret as I'm moving I'm just sliding my fingers I'm lightly covering basically the A D and G strings as I slide down right and I continue strumming and that's just what gives you that sort of incidental wackiness hear that That's all that's going on there. Then the second guitar part, I'm flicking over now to the other guitar tone, starts on the fourth fret. Just playing that, right? So you're just alternating between the C sharp and the A. Then both guitar parts come together and play this. They play that round and around, okay? So, really, you could just play the C sharp. Like that. But you notice that I was hitting the fourth fret on the low E, which is basically an added fifth to what you're already playing, right? On the with the C sharp. Now, I wouldn't worry too much about that. I would probably just play the C sharp, but I've tabbed it because it's in there sometimes. Not always, but um, you know, and it makes it sound quite meaty. And from there you go to this full A chord. <laughs> So the rhythm is the same for both parts. So you're going to repeat the C sharp twice and then you repeat the A twice. So the rhythm is down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. But you're going to play a mixture of muted stuff and, you know, fretted notes, okay? So slowly we have. to the A. And then back to the C sharp, okay? That's it. Then the other guitar part comes in with the intro riff again, plus this extra riff. Pretty cool, isn't it? So, you know the first part, you just play that twice. 
then you're going to go to some double stops. Seventh fret on the B and E. So you're going to slide up to the ninth fret. And play two more when you get there. Then you do a slide back down. And play two more when you get down. That's it. You repeat that round four times. Then for the verse, we have this. Um, well, nothing's played uh, for the first time around, and then you get this. You've got that going on. Um, there is actually some very subtle tremolo going on behind that when you hit the, uh, the A sus 2, which is what I'm playing here, right? But essentially, the verse goes two bars of C sharp. Like that, basically. And that's it, you repeat that round. So um, A sus 2 is just um, 0, 2, 2, and then the B and the E are open. So that's the vibe there. Then um, back into that again. And then we go back into that. And then you mix it up there. So the fourth time round, you go. You go to the E, okay, so the E power chord. Down, up, down. And then the second guitar part plays this. So let's run through that briefly. It's quite simple, it's just four, five on the B. And you play an open E, and then you play the fifth fret on the B string, which is also an E. So that's the phrase. It's just four notes. And you just repeat it twice. That's one bar, and you repeat that bar three times, okay? So this phrase, you play three times. And then you end with which is a half step bend on the fourth fret on the B, uh, which then, you know, meets the, uh, the E, right? Then the next riff goes like this, at least the second guitar part does this. I think Gavin is just playing. Just going to standard A chord, right? But the second guitar part adds this. I hear that in there, so I think what he's playing is... Which is a little bit more interesting, isn't it? So let's focus on that. So the first part is... Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 okay? And this is an F sharp major. And here we're going to play zero, seven, six, okay? That's from the A string. And you're going to put your little finger on the ninth fret there. So that again. Isn't it? Then you play this again. Okay, and then you go into. And I think there's a little fill there where he goes. 
It sounds like it might be done on a slide, but you could just slide your two fingers up here. Yeah, to get that effect. And then back in two. Then we have the chorus, which goes. We play that round three times. The fourth time we play. And then back into that um, F sharp to A riff again, okay? So uh, we've got E to B. C sharp to A. There's a very similar rhythm, isn't it? So we've got... Just got that going on, haven't you? And then obviously the fourth time we have... Then we go back to this. And I think there's just this, this open G string that rings out. Um, and again, we've got some trem going on for the... And then after that, we have, I think this is um, Gavin playing this. 668. Six, where you have... I think you got that intro riff going on there. And then you get this, um, get the sixth fret uh, on the G string for two bars. And I think that part is just going like an A sus two um, going on there. I think background on the verse riff. Then back into another chorus, seven times this time. Into that good stuff. There's actually a bar of 2-4-ish. Um, it goes, it's a little bit free-timey, but coming out of the chorus drift, so the eighth time you would play. And the second guitar part over that last set of choruses does do this four times, something along these lines. So just mix that up as you wish. And then we got this outro riff that comes in just after that bar of 2-4, right? You get this. And you finish on the um, E major. So pretty straightforward, it's just F sharp. eighth notes and then you slide up to the A. Which is the fifth fret, okay? So second fret to fifth fret power chords. All the way, happy days. Hope you enjoyed that one. See you again soon.